Hi, Shane Sosin. It's time for Tip Tuesday. Today, I'm going to talk about a device that uh, I dug out the other day. I haven't used it in a while, but I thought I'd talk about it. If you see a dog poking his head in the picture, that's Murphy. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. Go. I, I'm shooting a video. Hang on one second. So anyway, uh, the device today we're going to talk about is the Remo Active Noise Gate System. Uh, I believe Dave Weckl had a hand in, in uh, designing this. I'm going to put it up where you can kind of see it. Hopefully, you get a good thing. The dog's hitting my hand over here. Okay, it clamps onto the hoop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little playing on this drum. Okay, this is a pork pie, a patina brass shell, six and a half by 14, no muffling of any kind. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this Remo muffle on here, and uh, you clamp it down on the hoop. To me, it works best on uh, triple flange type hoops. Uh, it can work on other styles that turn inward. It's just not quite the same. Uh, I've got this pretty loose right now, but what this does is this device will bounce off the head, and it's a rod with a plastic uh, plate on it, I guess you want to say, and on the bottom of that, it's got felt. So as I hit the drum, it's going to bounce up and come back down. Like a noise gate. If you don't know what a noise gate is in electronics or mic or sound, it's a uh, device that uh, you run a microphone or something through, and let's say you're micing your snare. When you hit that snare, you you make the adjustment to how the threshold or how much you want that gate to open, what sound pressure level it takes. So uh, for at basically the volume. So when you hit it, the snare, the sound goes through the microphone. The noise gate opens up, accepts the sound, and it shuts it off based on how you set it. So it doesn't pick up extra noises that from other microphones or something like that. Uh, they're very, very common on snare drums, sometimes on toms and things like that. Um, if you do a lot of ghost notes, sometimes it can be difficult to deal with a gate because you want to set it to where you can hear all the ghost notes, but at the same time, hear the heavy backbeat rim shots. But, so what I'm going to do, this acts as the gate. You hit the drum, it bounces up, it comes back down, it mutes it. That's basically all it is. Now, I've got it set straight out, which is probably the most muffling you would get, but it's at its loosest, pretty much its loosest setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the gate up. No muffling uh, near the rim. Now I'm going to drop it. So it took a significant amount of the ring, ringing or long-term resonance away. It bounces, it comes up, it muffles. You can see it moving. Pretty significant. If you don't want it straight out, you can turn it off to the side a little bit. And it's not quite as effective because it's not deeper into the drum head, which is going to cause more muffling. Now, that being said, you can adjust this and put more, I guess you would say, downward pressure on it. And now it's ringing even less. No muffling. Offset or no muffling. So you can hear how it works. And again, that can be turned off to the side. And you can hear it mute. So I'm going to turn the snares back on. And uh, the cool thing about this type of a noise gate is, versus tape or gel, it does adjust to your, your volume. The more you hit, the higher it's going to bounce and come down and mute it. So you can still play your ghost notes without losing it if there's a microphone here. So that being said,
All right, so now I'm gonna put that gate in the middle. This is uh, turned out a little heavier. So you like it a little bit less. So when I hit that snare pretty hard, you'll see it jump up. A little bit less. Even less. center. So once again, this little device from Remo, the Remo Active Noise Gate System. Uh, try to get it close to the camera for you there. I believe it has a street price or had a street price. I don't even know if they're still available, to be honest with you. Um, probably about that $30 range. I think they Probably retail it for about 50 bucks or something like that. Uh, I haven't used it in a while. I actually was uh, going through some stuff and found it. And I thought, oh, I'll get that out and talk about it. Um, I actually like it quite a bit. I used it uh, at one time uh, uh, back at Hannah's uh, where it was a high volume gig, but I didn't want the noise gate to take away my ghost notes. So we tried that and some different gels and tapes and stuff. Uh, anyway, there you go. The Remo Active Noise Gate System. Again. Very similar to the concept of a real noise gate, and again, designed by Dave Weckel and Remo. Check them out if you can find them. They're fun. Thanks.